Hello guys, Darkseus. Uh, today I'm going to teach you how to use MIRV streams from HLE. It's a little command which allow you to record separate layers like uh, depth of field, the background, the green screen with models, etc. You can do many things with it. It's like 1.6 where you could separate the layers. But now in CSGO you can also do it. So I'm going to show you how to do this. First of all, we need HLE. So just go to advancedfx.org. Then you click on download, HLE, you take the latest version and you download the zip file. You unzip everything in a folder like I did. You do a right click on HLE.exe properties, compatibility, and make sure you've got this stick. So run this program as an illustrator. Um, you won't have to do a right click and run as an illustrator all the time. Now it will be automatically done. So you just have to click on it. Um, now that we have HLA running, you click on Tools, Developer, Custom Loader, and now we need the hook DLL. It's not complicated, it's uh, in the zip file, so it's AFX hook source for CSGO. For the program path, uh, you need to go to your Steam apps, your Steam uh, control cycle offensive folder, so in my case it's E, Steam, Steam apps, common, control go offensive, and csgo.exe. You make sure you've got Insecure and SVLAN1. This thing, it's cool, and you click on OK. Uh, now that you've done this, you should have CSGO running with HLE, so just make sure it's the case with an MIRV command. So as you can see, I see them, so it means HLE is running, and you've got the Valve cheat message because as we because in the option we used in secure, so that's why it's here. I'm going to load a demo, a random one. I think I'm going for this one because I already did some recording, so it's not like random, but yeah. Okay, so now we're in the game. I'm just going to go to the first round. I'm going to pass the time. I'm going to search where there is some people here, yeah. So, um, let's resume. Boom. And now let's work with MRV streams. So if you just do this, you will have all the commands about, well, you will have everything. Uh, so in fact, this tutorial isn't really helpful. If you just want to try everything on your own, you can just put these commands, then you put add, and you will have all info about everything. So yeah, but in my, my tutorial is here to teach you how to use it, so you don't have to do it on your own, it will be more explainful, I guess, so let's go. Um, first of all, we are going to add um, the background, you know, all the things, so it's Baz FX, and we, I'm going to call it Raw, you can see it's not really complicated, and now I'm going to preview the Raw, so as you can see here, we've got some emulation illumination in the background but if I do the preview as you can see we don't have it anymore uh, it's because actually just disables the uh, illumination from the game because there was a problem when you wanted to start moving with it so it disabled it but it's also a good thing if you want to work on the CC because like if you just want to add back this illumination you just have to add some glow it's not really complicated but it allows you to do more things with the contrast etc so yeah it's not it's not a bad thing, in fact. Um, uh, if you want to go back to the default view without nothing, it's this one, just double quote and nothing in but I'm going to for the row. And um, now let's work with the row. So you can just put edit a row. And as you can see, we've got many commands you can use. Uh, for each type, uh, yeah, because I didn't tell it, but when you add a stream, it's type, for a type of stream. Um, with the base fix, you can do all this one by just modifying and it's uh, the normal thing like I have here. But uh, yeah, if you use a specific one, it will be pre-configured for specific things. For example, default will be def profile with the word, uh, etc. Matt entity will be showing you all the entity with the green screen. Like it's, it makes sense, you know, just with the name. But, uh, let's go with this one. So I'm going to disable the model, so prayer models action. And now when you write this, 
uh, you know what you can write in it. So in my case, it's draw. As you can see, we see them. Uh, I want them to disappear, so I'm just going to put it invisible. Uh, I'm doing the same with the weapon. So we just replace player by weapon. And um, now as you can see, our mo first model and the weapon model disappeared. So it's what I actually wanted. Then we are going to add a matte entity because I want to have the green screen models. So green models and uh, again all the green models. So as I said, you see the matte entity put a green screen and you've got your models. I just want the models and not my first person view. So I edit the green models and I'm just going to take the draw view model. In this case, it's uh, different from the other commands. You just choose between 1 and 0, 0 and 1. And um, I'm going to put it to 0. And as you can see, we still see the first person view model, but it's because in the preview, it doesn't, it doesn't take in count your modification. But when you really start so the record with MAV st uh, streams, record start, uh, well, it will disappear, but in the preview it won't, but don't worry, it's disabled by default. So, like right now on this stream, I will only have the, um, the models and I won't have this. Now, I'm going to do for, I'm going to create maternity for the web, for the first person view model. So, I'm just going to put weapon, but, yeah, you, you just put the names you want. And, um, I'm going to preview it. Oh, yeah, no. I messed up. Um, Let's put the weapon. Um, I'm just edit green weapon, and I'm going to get rid of the models and the. Yeah, uh, no, yeah. I want to do a green screen weapon. You know, with only the weapon. So in this specific case, uh, um, the guy who made actually didn't make it possible. But in the first version, you could do it. But now you have to do it with the attach and detach commands so I'm just going to uh, show you the commands you need so fog override 1 fog color 0 255 0 fog um, hds call 255 fog um, max density the same fog start 0 fog end 1 so now, as you can see, the models disappeared, and all you have to do is to put these commands in the in the attach commands. So um, I what I'm going to just use this edit green weapon attach commands. You take all these, you just copy and paste. You can use a CFG, so you just have to use exact uh, CFG and you put uh, all these things in the CFG, it works the same. I'm just doing it in the tutorial to show you, it's kind of simple. And yep, so I'm going to go back to the... Uh, make sure you've got Forgettable one. And, uh, yeah, Forgettable one. Uh, I'm going to put everything back to the... And um city minus one. Oh I mm, no I think I did everything. Oh yep, I did something bad here. Yeah. I just noticed it, so yeah it's not <laughs> Yep everything should be good. And uh I yeah fuck start minus one and four and life. I think it was zero, I don't remember. But yeah, and uh, you have to put uh, the same command with detach. So here I put detach commands for the right to zero. You put everything to the default settings. Okay, so now if I'm switching off streams, 
Um, so let's go for the roar. You won't see the fog, and if I go back to the green weapon, I will have the fog, and as you can see, we don't see the models. And if I go to the green models, we've got our models. So yeah, and we still see uh, the first person view model because as I said, it does preview it, but it won't record it because I disabled it. And now we're gonna add some depth of field. So I always use depth word, but I guess with depth entity it would work better for what I'm doing. But yeah, you, you just use as you want. It's just show you uh, different things. Um, streams edit stuff, and I'm going to preview it as well because yeah, it's better to preview your layer if you want to modify it. Um, so now, as you can see, we've got our depth of field, but we don't see our models because of, I disabled them. So all you have to do is to go here, edit DOF, you just models, player, action, and you put them to draw depth. Yeah, it's not this, it's player models. Oh yeah, in, I inverted. Player models. So now as you can see we see our models, uh, we still haven't got a weapon so you just put weapon and now we see our weapon, uh, make sure you've got your uh, draw view model to 1 and um, now I'm going to change the def value and the def max value. So, sorry for the little sound, it's my phone when I receive a message. Uh, let's put this one to 500. Yeah. And uh, this one a bit higher. Uh, you can see your value by just typing it, okay? Current value. And it's kinda cool. I'm going to reduce the depth. Well, I think. 2, 3, 115. Yeah. It seems good. So uh, now we are going to see the other command. So you can see all your layer streams with preview uh, print. So as you can see, I've got my row, which will be recorded, my green models, which will be recorded, etc. When it's one, it will be recorded. You can disable the record by changing the edit uh, your layer name and record to zero, I guess. Um, then. We've got the edit, the remove, so you can remove by typing the name of the layer you want to remove. It's not really complicated. And now we are going to the record part. So you can cho cho choose the format of the record. So it's TGA or BMP. In my case, it's TGA and I will always stick with TGA. You can use BMP if you want, but I don't really see uh, the point of doing BMP instead of TGA, but it's only as you want. Uh, and you've got the name of the folder. Uh, where your records will be. So in my case, I'll call it tutorial. But if you leave it um, without name, it will be untitled record. But I'm going to put tutorial, okay? And now if I just put name, I see it's tutorial. And uh, now we've got the start and end command. But never forget to put host time scroll to zero and to put your host frame rate. So I'm going to go for the free. And right now I, I will go to less, so I will go for, let's go for 150. And um, now I think you should bind uh, these keys for memory stream record start and end. It only depends on you, but yeah, I think you should key, you should do a keyframe. Uh, in my case, I didn't show you, but I won't have the um, HUD because I, didn't um, I didn't work with them um, in MLV streams edit you can as you can see you've got a draw HUD um, by default I don't know why it's disabled so um, I won't have the scope of the hope I won't have um, yeah the scope of the hope and I, you won't have you know all the HUD but the thing is you won't also see uh, the death notice so um, if you want to see the death notice, I'm going to do it in fact because it's kinda annoying. 
If I'm not doing it and you ask why I didn't do it. So um, let's go draw add. So as you can see, the draw add. Yeah, no, it's not preview, it's edit. It's to zero, so it will it will disable the HUD, but it will also disable the def notice. So in order to get the def notice, you just put to one. But when you want it, when you will record, you need to boot. So CL draw only def notice to one. Okay, because um, if you don't do this. Uh, you will uh, have the HUD with the player, etc. And uh, it's not what you want, but uh, yeah. So you get my point. If you want to have the opscope and the death notice, you have to use MRV Streams Edit Draw Draw HUD 1. And uh, don't forget to put this one. So now I think uh, we are ready. I'm just going to prepare the MRV Stream Start Record Start command. I'm going to do this, you go back, you start, and yeah, as you can see, it's kinda, yeah, epileptic, so <laughs> I will skip this part to the end. Okay, so now I'm going to um, end it, so record, and instead of start, you put end. So I'm going to stop the demo, and now, uh, oh yeah, you're going to quit. So now I'm going to go on HLA. And if we go to our control strike global fancy folder, we have now a folder called tutorial. And if you go in it, you've got text 00, zero and we've got all our things. I'm going to take this and I'm going to import everything. So I will skip this part. You won't have to, well, I'm just going to show you for the basics. So for the row, make sure you've got target sequence tick if you want everything in it. After Effects, so yeah, I'm skipping this part now. Okay, so now we are going to do some compositing. I'm going to do it really roughly, so it's not really professional. Uh, you should do more compositing with all the things I'm going to do, but I'm just going to add them like this. No. And yeah, I just do this. And yeah, for example, you should have different composition for each thing, but as I said, it's only a tutorial, so I'm going like this. So as you can see, we've got everything synced and it looks really good. I'm just going to add some depth, the depth of field. So, camera, lens, blur, or if you just create as you want, camera, lens, blur. You choose the depth of field layer and we've got our depth of field layer. So put this to high values. As you can see, um, it's a perfect depth of field because um, if you do it differently, uh, it won't be the same because the models always look the same when you reload the demo and uh, with this technique, uh, the depth of field will be perfect. You see? So yeah, I'm just going to put it maybe a little higher so we can clearly see. Yeah. Um, so, because I've separated all the layers, I can work with everything. So, for example, if I want to tint the background, I just use tint on the background. And as you can see, my models are still colored. My first view model is also colored. And I can put some effects on the models only. So, for example, I'm going to go for the glow. I'm choosing the models. i put this to... Yeah, I'm just doing random things. And yeah, you can see it's not my thing here. And yeah, you can do many things with this. It's really full of... You can do many, many, many things. It's really cool. So you can do even more than what I'm showing you right now. So feel free to try things. It's just a basic tutorial to show you how it works. So don't hesitate to try things. And yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any question, feel free to ask me. I will upload this video on my channel uh, one week after Enigma because I made this tutorial um, for the Enigma community. So guys, I hope you loved it. And if you have any question, feel free to ask on the tutorial and um, I will answer even on the, the Enigma channel. So yeah, see you next time and peace.